some person said, well, you're breathing and, uh, and walking and uh, alive, you're a cancer survivor if you've had cancer. So the process really starts the minute you're diagnosed. Then you start to think all patients with cancer have many questions beyond what is the chemotherapy, what are the surgical issues, what is, do I do radiation or not. They go into issues of the minute they're diagnosed, what about nutrition? That's one of the biggest questions and one of the reasons I spend a lot of time with patients. They don't know, how do I eat? Is there some magic? Are there foods I should avoid? Are there foods that are okay to eat? Are there things I should eat? Uh, what about supplements? These are very big questions. The answers, in, in fact, are simpler than most people realize. But there are fears that they're going to miss something. Supplements represent insurance to many people, whether they have cancer or not. And in fact, they may not be the appropriate approach. What about activity? I mean, lifestyle, it plays a big role in this. And so many of these questions are answerable. And then, of course, there is the person who's completed treatment and then has side effects. What do I do to protect myself and allow myself to heal? At the same time, how do I know that what I'm doing is not going to raise my risk of recurrence? One of the most important concepts every cancer survivor should know is that, in fact, a majority of people who have gone beyond their treatment and have no existing cancer may die of something else. They may have a high risk of heart disease. So when I talk about survivorship, it's survivorship from all illnesses, quality lifestyle, protecting themselves from other things beyond their cancer. The, the areas that cancer survivors need to be conscious of, and they may very likely be aware of this are, well, what about the, again, long-term side effects from chemotherapy, and how do I deal with that? What about the loss of cognitive function? What about the issues of, of sexual function in my, my future? How do I deal with that? How do I get help for that? That's true for every area. You know, how do they deal with social issues? How do I deal with the financial problems that deal with having survived cancer? Having these bills, though, that's a huge area of anxiety that can lead to enormous disruption within a family. Again, it's well known that, that bankruptcy in America is largely due to medical costs. So you need to be able to get the resources to help you with that. That's part of survivorship. The positive issue of survivorship is, is uh, the, the enormous uh, interest in the idea of empowerment. Being a cancer survivor opens up a whole new world. Many people say the experience has broadened them, has given them new hope and a new understanding of the value of life. And survivors actually do that. They become more active, they exercise better, their, their diets are often better. Cancer is one of those great opportunities for change. And the challenge for the cancer survivor is to understand that many patients will survive, not have a recurrence of their cancer. And it's an opportunity to introduce things into their lives that will make the quality of their life better, improve their, 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 their life with others, enhance their relationships. So there are many benefits that come out of having been through this. In reality, patients who've gone through and survived cancer are often proud of having gone through that. So there are some positive aspects to it. One of the most important things I tell cancer survivors is it's okay to graduate from cancer into life. Don't make cancer a profession. The hardest thing for me is to see people who are free of disease, whose lives are consumed by worry about their cancer. Most people now, not most, but many, many cancer patients are going to be long-term cancer survivors who will have other issues in their health. The key to survivorship, good healthy survivorship, is a passion for life, not giving up on life. Because that is the single most important thing that drives us to live every day.